Okay, now for question number six from the specimen paper for 2020. Now, this is something which is new in the IGCSE Cambridge syllabus, and it's something to do with statistics, and it's called stem and leaf diagrams. And here they've told us that the number of cars parked in a car park at 9 a.m. is recorded for 10 days. So they've given us these numbers here. That's the number of cars parked at 9 a.m. So this is like on one day there's 124 cars parked at 9 a.m. and the next day so on and so forth. Okay, so we got to complete the stem and leaf diagram. And a stem and leaf diagram should always have a key. So we know exactly what that represents. And basically, uh, here we can see that the hundreds and the units digits are represented before the line, before you could say the stem. Okay, this is called the stem. And the leaf is made up of the unit, um, you know, um, digits because you have one, two, three. This is, you know, the units, this is the tens, and this is the hundreds. So the hundreds and the tens are in this stem and the leaf should be the units. So for example, 124 belongs in this particular row. And uh, what we're going to do is going to, I'm going to write down on the side here, I'm going to write down the, the numbers that are going to be put in place. I'm going to write it because a seminal leaf diagram for you to be able to read it properly uh, and to analyze it properly you should put the numbers in order. So I'm just going to go through these one by one and I'm going to put them in, in order if, at the end. So I know that there's going to be a four here, okay, 124. So I crossed that out. 130, so that's going to be here, it's going to be a zero, so I crossed that out. 129, that's going to be in this column as well, the 100, that's going to be in the 120s column, cross that out. 116, okay, that's going to be in this column, which is the 110s, so I'm going to put a 6 here. 132, that's going to be in this column, so I'll put a 3 there. 120, it's going to be in this column, so I'll put a 0 there. 127, 7 here. 107, 7 there. 118, why did I cross that out? 118 should be an 8 there and 114 should be a 4 there and we finished now I'm going to make sure everything's in order here there's only one number so there's no problem here you've got 6 8 and 4 so I'm just going to write them in order 4 6 and 8 and here you've got 0 4 7 9 in order so 0 and 4 and 7 and 9 don't forget to put a comma between them so it's clear and here you've got 0 and 3 a 0 and a 3 so now you've basically represented all these numbers in what's called a stem and leaf diagram. Okay, so we can see, for example, in the 120s, you've had the most number. In the, hundred, in the hundreds, you have the smallest number of, uh, you know, so in the hundreds, you've got the smallest number of days. In the, there's only one day when there was in the hundreds, but there were four days when it was in the 120s and so on. So you can use a stem and leaf diagram to visually see some of the, um, uh, you know, analyze the data kind of visually in a very simple way. Okay, so that's how you deal with a stem and leaf diagram. So I hope that was clear and the next question um, I'll answer in the next video on the playlist. Thank you for watching.